How's it going today guys? Slaticus here and today we have the Flexprone triple option. Um, got a lot of views on my iForm option and my pistol option videos so I figured I'd make one for the Flexprone. It's made popular by Georgia Tech in the modern era. Uh, the service academies all run a variation of it. It's very popular in the high school areas as well. Um, you don't find it in the NFL any just because the defensive end can play the quarterback and the pitch because they're so athletic. Uh, it's still a very good offense. Um, and then over the next couple of years, I'm not going to be surprised to see a lot of colleges going back to it as Georgia Tech has more and more success with it. There are a couple things I'd like to point out about this video before we start. Uh, this is only the Flexbone triple option. You'll, you won't see any midline or load or speed option. I'm still working on the kinks in those plays. The developers for NCAA 11 uh, seem to have messed up on who's covering the quarterback and who's covering the pitch man. It's very unrealistic because the linebacker shouldn't be covering the pitch. It's just not done. But I'm going to try to get those up soon after, you know, I've got a lot more experimentation to do. But enough of all this stuff. Let's get on to what everybody's here to see how to run the Flexbone triple option. The formation you see right here is Flexbone normal. It's a balanced formation. It has two wing backs, one fullback, and two wide receivers split out wide. It's a balanced formation, like I said in my earlier videos. This is the kind of formation I like because you can easily flip it either direction. And that's especially dangerous with the flex bone because it gives you it gives the user a lot more options of where to take the football. I mean, if the computer can't guess where you're going to go with the ball, you're going to win nine times out of ten. That's why the counters were so important that they fixed them this year. As you can see, this defense is in a balanced formation. The reads are the same as the iPhone triple. You want to read the place high defensive end. If he sits, it's a give to the fullback. If he comes downfield, quarterback keeps it and runs for good yards. After the initial read, the quarterback should read the strong safety. If he comes forward to play the quarterback, the quarterback pitches to the, the running back. If he sits, the quarterback just takes it and gets as much yards as he can. Now we're actually going to run the play. The defensive end sits, hands off to the quarterback, makes the handoff. Fullback gets a great run, a couple good blocks, should be an easy touchdown. Right here I want you to watch what the defensive end does. On the snap of the ball, he penetrates, goes to the fullback, quarterback pulls it, rips off another good run. Okay guys, I know that was a really short clip, but that's really all you need to know about how to run the flex bone triple option. It's that offense's base play, it's in every one of their playbooks and formations, so it's really not that hard to run. One thing I'd like to point out, Every one of the triple option counter, triple option weak, uh, triple option strong, they're all the same. The reads are virtually identical. The, the defense may put another man on the line of scrimmage, but that does not change your read. You read the last man on the line of scrimmage as your initial read. Another tip is to know your team's strengths and weaknesses. Um, have a quarterback that has good acceleration. He doesn't have to have top end speed. It's nice if he can outrun the defense without having to pitch the ball, but that's really what your halfbacks are for. Drop the ball off to them, let them get the huge yards. If the quarterback has good acceleration, he can hit the corner faster and get the initial separation needed. Here's the last tip and then I'm going to cut this video. When you run the flex bone, sometimes if you get a couple years into your dynasty and you're having trouble recruiting a fullback, recruit a power back and place your strongest back at fullback. It gives you yet another option with a good back that can get solid yards. I do that with my second string back when so I'm running the eye, which is what I prefer really. But anyway, that's about it. Guys, if you like this video, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, thanks, for all the, thanks for watching my last ones. And keep watching for a spread option video. Thanks again. Slide to Casal.